Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is trapping rainwater. So in this question, we are given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is 1. And we need to compute how much water it can trap after raining. So in this example, we are given the height array. So this is the input given to us and each element inside the height array represents a block inside an elevation map. So here 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2 and 1. Now let's take this example and see how we can solve this question. So let's take the first example. We are given the height array and here as you can see the elements inside the height array represent each block. So here the block size is 1, here the block size is 2, the block size is 1, here it is 1 again, here it is 3, this is 2, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 1. And here the answer is 6. So here as you can see there is no water being stored here because to its left there is no block which can store water so water to be stored you need to have blocks on both its sides so here the water is being stored right so there is a block here and there is a block here and the water being stored is of block size one it will take the minimum among this and this minimum among this is this block so it is having size one so here the water is one so now we calculated how water is being stored here so you are keeping track of a block to its left and you are keeping track of the block to its right and you're taking the minimum among them and subtracting the current block height. So let's see how the water is being stored here. So here one unit of water is being stored, here one unit, here one unit, here one unit, here one unit and here one unit. So total there are six units of water being stored. So six is the output which is matching here. So let's take the second example and see how we are solving this question. So here as you can see water can't be stored here because there is nothing to its left and water can be stored here because there is a block to its left and there is a block to its right but we saw we have to take the minimum block the minimum block is 3 so according to that logic we only have to take this size so that is not the right logic so you have to take two arrays into computation so you keep track of the left block and keep track of the right block and take the minimum among them and subtract the block size right so let's see by taking two arrays let me create two arrays left and right so let's start by filling the left array so you start from the beginning and you assign whatever the height value is having at the 0th index. So you start with 4 here because there is nothing to its left. Now we are here. So take that. So you take the max of the current uh, value 2 or its left value which is 4. Max is 4. So this value is 4. So left array will keep track of the max block to its left. Now we are here. Its value is 0 and max to its left is 4. So we take the left value so it is 4 so similarly here again now we are here to its left and the current value 4 comma 3 max is 4 now we are here 2 comma 4 max is 4 now we are here 5 comma 4 max is 5 so this will have 5 so this means the max block max to its left now similarly we have to do for max to its right so we start a processing from the last index so for this we keep track of the right array by iterating from right to left so we start from here the max to its right is 5 so we directly assign that now we are at 2 max to its right is max of 2 comma 5 it's 5 max to its right is 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 5 now we have both the arrays ready and now let's calculate the amount of water so we keep track of the value water which is initially 0 so start from the 0th index now so we start with the current element so take the min among these two min among these two is 4 and 4 minus the current height that is 4 4 minus 4 is 0 so add 0 now we are here min among 4 and 5 is 4 so 4 and take the current height that is 2 4 minus 2 is 2 so add 2 so here it means we added 2 waters so this is a water so there are 2 units of water here now min among 4 and 5 is 4 and the current value is 0 so 4 minus 0 is 4 so 4 units of water will be stored here now again min among 4 and 5 is 4 so 4 minus the current block size which is 3 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so add 1 so 1 unit of water is being stored here again okay, next iteration 4 and 5 minimum among those is 4 and current uh, block size is 2 so current height so 4 minus 2 is 2 so add 2 units of water so 2 units of water will be stored here now again min among 5 comma 5 is 5 and the current block size is also 5 so 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 so 0 units of water will be stored here and now you reach the end of the array so you iterated through all the elements so you end the iteration 
and whatever is being stored inside this value that is water has the value 9 so 9 will be the output which is the expected output here so coming to summarize the approach you have to calculate two arrays the left array will store the max value to its left including that current height and right array will store the max to its right so you start from right to left so you start filling right array from right to left and start filling the left array from left to right and once you have the two arrays ready you iterate to both the arrays once and take the minimum among both those values and subtract the current height and keep adding that value into the water variable and finally whatever you have inside this answer will be returned as the output now let's take a look at the code coming to the function given to us this is the function name and we are given an integer array called heights and we have to return an integer as our output representing the amount of water that has been trapped after raining so let's start off by finding the length of the integer array so i'm going to name it length now as discussed we are going to use a left array so i'm going to create an array which will store which will be of the same length as the input array given to us and we're going to assign the zeroth element position inside uh, the left array to the zeroth element position present inside the height array now let's iterate through the height array from index 1 so i'm going to start with index 1 and i will iterate until the length of the array that is length because we already set the zeroth element inside the left array we are going to start with the index 1 to fill the left array so left of i is going to be the max of the current element at i inside the height array so mat dot max of height of i or the previous element inside the left array it's going to pick the maximum among these two parameters and assign it to left of i now we have to do the same for the right array so i'm going to copy this and create the right array i'm going to change left to right and assign the last element inside the right array last element is right of length minus one to height of length minus one and we are going to start filling the right array from right to left we already set the last element so start from second last element that is at length minus two index position and it will happen until we reach the beginning so i should be greater than or equal to zero and i will keep on decrementing because we are iterating from right to left we already set the last index position inside the right array so we are starting from the second last index position so change this to right of i it will pick the max of height of i or right of the previous element that is i plus one so right of i plus one now we have the two arrays ready left and right we have to use those two arrays to calculate the amount of water that has been trapped after raining so now let's declare our output variable i'm going to name it water which is initially zero because we start from zero and since both right and left are having the same length you can use a single for loop to iterate through both of them so i'm going to start from beginning so int i is equal to zero until we reach that length and now we keep incrementing the water variable so to this water we have to add the minimum of first pick the minimum of left of i or right of i so pick the minimum of left of i and right of i so minimum among these two will be picked in every iteration and this has to be subtracted from height of i i place this inside another parenthesis set so minimum of left of i and right of i will be selected and from it we have to subtract height of i and that will be added to water and this will keep on happening because we are doing water plus equal to so water will be keep on incrementing until we reach the end of both the arrays and finally we have to return our output which is water because this is the integer variable which is being expected as the output so return water as the output now let's try to run the code the test case are being accepted let's submit the code and a solution is accepted so the time complexity of this approach is bigger of n because we are iterating through the arrays from left to right because we are iterating through the array from start to end and the space complexity is also bigger of n because we are using a 1D array to compute the output. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.